in the tie. Yeah. I work for city council, and one of the questions petitioners always ask um, is regarding gentrification. That seems to be a thing nationwide, really, across the big city. And but we understand that. So their concerns always in terms of uh, affordable housing is that the, the guidelines and criteria to determine uh, affordable housing um, doesn't match, right? So what they'll say is, well, uh, what they claim is. Uh, Low income is high income right. for a lot of, um, yep. uh, especially New York. Yep. And we understand that that's something that's um, linked to the federal government. So, how, how is the yep. fix you would have for that? First, let me say that I used to work for a mayor, and one of my jobs was going to city council on Monday night to get yelled at by the city council. And the first night I ever got back from that, my kids were very young, and they'd seen it on TV, and they all they wanted to know was, how did you get inside the television set? And, <laughs> and, and what did you do to make those people so mad at you? So I know a little bit, but I think there are three things. One, we got to uh, fully fund housing vouchers in this country. Half the people that are eligible for housing vouchers in America don't get those housing vouchers. Second, we have to build a lot more housing in the United States, and that's going to require much better alignment between the federal programs that you're talking about and local government's decisions on zoning. And all of us in America are going to have to suck it up and realize that we're going to need to have more density in this country if we're actually going to have affordable housing. And some of the most progressive cities in this country are the least uh, embracing of that sort of housing. And third, a, a point that you didn't ask about, but it's related, we've got to figure out how to address evictions in the United States of America because we are destroying families, the ability of people to hold a job and hang on to housing because too often we use the remedy of eviction when a less onerous remedy could actually make the difference. So thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Michael Bennett.